Each year, millions of tons of concrete are poured around the world to provide a stable foundation, a foundation for a variety of projects. But what if there was a way to complete those projects faster and cheaper just by changing the technique we use to reinforce the concrete. Team 12's Michael Downa is joining us now with more. Michael? Hey guys, for 150 years, the way of reinforcing concrete has been rebar, but ASU researchers believe that what's in this bar right here could be a better way of doing things. Construction in concrete, components of our modern world relying at times on old techniques. It's a traditional field that we have used the same methodology that has worked for us for more than 100 years. ASU professor Barzan Mobasher says the normal way is rebar, essentially strong metal bars that provide a backbone to help against cracking. But it has to be put together on site and is labor intensive. The forming involved is almost 50% of the cost of the structure. But Mobasher thinks there's a better way with what's called fiber reinforced concrete, essentially little fibers throughout the mix. I'm, I'm already converted. It's, the question is just like, how do I preach the methodology? And ASU is doing just that, testing materials and analyzing when cracks form and how they spread. And Mobasher says the fiber reinforced concrete usually performs better than rebar or basic concrete, especially on how it maintains its strength despite cracks. It's not just basically the first failure or the first notch that starts growing is not the end of the story. And another benefit is that it can be mixed before it goes to a construction site, cutting down on labor cost and construction time. Recently, it was used to complete part of the light rail. The cost reduced from an estimated cost of $17 million and some change to $5 million. But the goal for Mobasher, though, is to use projects like the light rail and data from ASU to convert more folks to using fiber reinforced concrete. So that's, that's our job to prove one project at a time. And guys, let's show you some of this stuff. In fact, this is it right here. And as you see in this crack, you can see some of those little metal fibers that are poking out. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about this fiber mesh. And the idea behind it is that all these little parts, when something cracks, it'll get caught up on all these little pieces of fiber mm -hmm. instead of just one spot. So it doesn't allow it to crack all the way through the concrete immediately, like you may see with a rebar. Yeah. That it does a slower and, and just, basically spreads out all of that pressure. You use spaghetti to kind of really yeah, describe it. Exactly, so like when you think of a spaghetti little strand, you know, you can break just one really easily. Well, you have a bunch of them really together, it can be a little bit harder. Now imagining that being either steel or carbon fiber or whatever they put into it, yeah. it hmm. makes it a lot easier, a lot stronger piece of material that can be more durable. And they're hoping it'd be used for things like railroad track or even canals. So they're hoping they can use it for a lot of different things, not just one thing. That's, huh. that's fascinating. It is, yeah. and you can see the fibers sticking you out. You can. That's, if you saw me holding it gingerly yeah, earlier, careful. I yeah. thought I was going to like stab myself a little yeah. bit. But, <laughs> Don't hey, do that. Yeah. Michael, thanks. thanks.